This is Entrepreneurs Get Visible, the podcast for people who want more impact, influence, and income. I'm Anna Parker Naples, and I'll be sharing with you proven methods from leading entrepreneurs that help you get visible as an authority in your field. Because anything's possible when you get visible. On today's episode of Entrepreneurs Get Visible, I want to talk to you about why you need a multi-content process and not just to be relying on one or two platforms in order to accelerate your results and increase your authority. So what I see lots of people doing is really focusing solely on social media. Maybe they have Instagram as a preference. Maybe they're happier over in LinkedIn. Maybe they're happier over on Facebook. And that's all well and good because you can build an audience quickly there. However, if that is all you are doing, you are not building long-term authority. And I want you to start thinking about how you can create content that lasts much longer. So one of the issues with social media is that, yes, we can get lots of engagement quite quickly, but the content that we produce actually disappears if you're lucky within three or four days. Much of it has gone within 24 hours. The value of it has gone. And that's one of the reasons why starting to think about creating long form content that builds your authority across all of the search engines is really important for you to develop your business and develop yourself as that expert. So those of us who want to be authors or are authors, those of us who are thinking about podcasting, those of us who want to be speakers, actually all of these things need to come together in order to build your profile. So I'm going to run through some of the recommendations that I would make in order to catapult what you're doing into the stratosphere so that you are able to convert and reach more clients. Social media is not a way that you can run your whole business. Now, even just this morning, I've seen someone saying that their Facebook profile is getting no reach at the moment. Absolutely nothing. No one's seeing it. I've seen other people say that their Facebook page is not getting as much reach. I've seen people complaining that the algorithms on Instagram mean that they're not getting as seen by so many people. These things are out of your control. And yes, you can learn hacks and you can learn techniques for increasing your social media, but that's ultimately not going to be enough. So you should always be thinking about how can I create content that brings my audience to a platform that I own, such as your email list, or how and how can I create material that lasts a long time that doesn't just disappear? And I, I do believe you need to have both. If you have people on an email list, you can contact them when you want to. It becomes your choice as to when those things happen. When you have people on an email list, you are able to convert them. Very often when people see you on social media, you might even pop up on an advert, but they don't know you. They are a cold lead and it takes time to warm people up. And what we're still finding is that that email is not dead. This is still where people make calls from, book consultancy calls, book discovery calls, buy the course from. It's still happening from email. Email is not dead. And if you lose access to your social media platforms or the algorithms do something crazy, you're putting your business in jeopardy. The other thing I see people doing is relying really heavily on just doing Facebook Lives or Instagram Lives. And again, they are useful to you and they should be a part of your strategy. But if you're not doing something to repurpose them elsewhere, they're going to disappear. So you always want to be thinking about, well, how can I reach more places with limited content? What can I do? How can I repurpose video? And video is a really important part of your strategy for visibility. People want to see your face. They want to see you talking naturally. But not everybody has time to watch your lives. So if you then take your live video that you've created and you then make sure you put it up on IGTV for it's got so it's got a longer life a lifetime, you then put it up onto YouTube, you then put it onto your website, you then repurpose it into a podcast. Well, then your video is becoming really useful as a long-term strategy. And let's not forget here that YouTube is part of Google. So if you get your video content up on 
onto onto YouTube, then it's got that long term life because it becomes useful for you as part of a search engine optimization process. The other thing I see people doing is putting all their time and attention into just writing social media posts. And those storytelling posts, the longer story posts can be so effective on social media. They can be, they draw us in. But as I said, they disappear quite quickly. So you want to be thinking about every post that you create that's a longer post. Is there a way you could create that into a podcast or into a blog so that it has that lifetime value for you? And by lifetime, we're not talking forever. We're talking about potentially, certainly in podcasting, five to seven years of value of a podcast episode if you host it for that long. Now, that's really different to just a few hours or a few days if you're just creating social media posts. The other thing that I think is incredibly valuable is to become an author or a co-author at your subject matter in your area of expertise. And personally, I think the sooner you can do this for your brand, the better results you're going to get. When you've written a book on your topic of influence, in your topic that you're passionate about, in the topic that you have knowledge about, in the area that you help specialize in and that you get your clients' results in, the sooner you write a book, the quicker you're going to elevate your status. And yes, those wonderful number one bestsellers are amazing. And I should know because I've done it a few times now, but that's not all that it's about. It's about the fact that when someone contacts you and maybe they're not a good fit right now, you can show them, go to my book. On your website, you have a book. When you go on a podcast, you have a book. People remember that you are an author. It literally gives you authority. So if you've got a book in you, and I believe many of us who are speakers, content creators out there leading missions and wanting to have impact, we have books in us, multiple books, but you've got to get your first one out there. And when you have a book, your book is then of searchable on Amazon. It's then searchable on Google. It's searchable on Apple as part of their iBook system. And even better if you then create that book into an audio book because it goes so much further because of Audible and again, iBooks. And and you are doing yourself a disservice if you don't get these things created. So what I always advise people is if you're going to create a book, start thinking right now about how the courses that you deliver, the podcast interviews that you give on other people's shows, the podcast episodes you create for your own show, how they could be a chapter in your book so that you're creating content that works for you all the time. The other thing is about writing blogs. So People find that they aren't necessarily consistent with this. So maybe they'll write a few blogs when they're getting excited about increasing their content and then they let it go. They don't continue. And actually, something with like blogging and podcasting, it's a long term process. You want to have that consistency. You want to build the readership through having long term content and deliberately and strategically building your search engine optimization. Because you think about yourself, if there's someone you're intrigued by, what do you do? You probably go and do a Google search and then you might do a search in your personal preference for social media. So if you haven't got a presence on all of them and you're not coming up in good searches on Google, you're missing a trick. And by having a podcast, by having a book, you are guaranteeing you are in those places as the person who's an expert in what you claim to be an expert in. So in terms then of being a speaker, which many of you who listen to this show and watch this show want to do, I know right now we can't get physically on those stages, but you understand that that can help catapult your brand, that it all works cohesively as as a system together. If you want to get on those stages, well, guess what? You need something to talk about that gives you credibility to get there in the first place. And very often that is your book. And by having a book, it gives you something that you can sell even in circumstances where you're not allowed to sell from the stage. You can mention your book. So I would say if you are finding yourself being a one trick pony and getting lost in the busyness of creating social media posts, I strongly urge you to start thinking about how you can create long term content. That means you are getting everywhere 
And hello, one of the things that you will not be surprised to hear me say is that podcasting is an absolutely brilliant way to do this. It's going to help you now be found on Google more and more and more because of Google Podcasts and the way that it re- it reads not just the podcast title, not just get the show name, not just that, but I, I can actually now read the topics you're talking about in the audio, even when you're a guest on someone else's show, and even better if you have a show yourself. Then it is about making sure that you are using that podcast material that you've created, which maybe you created as I'm doing now as a live video first and you extract the audio for your podcast. Then you get it created into show notes, which are effectively a blog because it's regular written content going onto your website. If you choose to put it on your website as well, and why wouldn't you? Then you are building this process, building this system where you are everywhere. And I really do believe that podcasting, what we're going to see is just so much more acceleration over the next 12 months. Over the last, since November 2019 to November 2020, there have been 1 million podcasts go live. That is nothing to be sniffed at. We have more than doubled the size of the industry in less than 12 months. And what we're going to see is that more and more people are coming onto the platform and it's harder to make that splash in in that pond. So what I want to tell you about now is a way that I'm offering right now, I'm opening up the doors to my revised mastermind, which is now known as the podcast mastermind. I believe it's one of a kind in terms of what we're doing, one of a kind and unique in the world. In that, I will be sharing with you in this mastermind over a period of 12 months, how to use podcasts to build, grow, nurture and convert your audience because a podcast doesn't just work on its own. And that's the truth of it. A podcast needs to have the back end of your business. A podcast needs to have your social media presence. It needs to have your strong personal brand behind it. You need to understand how to engage, how to nurture, how to launch. And we'll be covering all of that, all of that together in my mastermind. And I'm going to just quickly run through exactly what this looks like. I'm a big believer that I like to throw myself into working with people at a really intimate high level. So we are going to be doing a 12-month mastermind with weekly access to me. We will be having weekly calls, weekly group coaching calls with an intimate closed group. And we know that what we're going to do is quarterly, we're going to have full retreat days. So at the moment, they're going to be online where we will throughout that whole day have guest experts really deep dive into businesses. We'll be looking at hot seating on a regular basis so that you're always getting my eyes and everybody else's on your business and on your podcast. We're going to be covering exactly what you need to do to grow and monetize your show, to increase your downloads, to increase your authority. We'll be looking at how you use social media, how you use the press, how you use speaking engagements to elevate your status how you get a book written about the topic of influence, how you publish that book, how you write that book, how you launch that book. And we've also decided to add in some amazing bonuses for the January 2021 cohort. Now, this is a rolling program. My mastermind is now open year round, but there's something very special for the people who are coming in in January 2021. People come to me and say, well, I don't know whether I should write my book this year or do a podcast. And I know that they're big things that anyone wanting to create authority wants to do right now. So what we've decided to do is add in some amazing bonuses. So the first bonus that we're we're adding in is one-to-one business strategy calls with me quarterly. So you get an hour call with me every three months to really look at your personal strategy for not just yourself and your business, but also your podcast. We're also adding in a podcast review and feedback call. So this will be that if you come into the mastermind, I will be going and listening to and giving you feedback on your show on how to improve it, not just in terms of audio quality, but in how effective it is for your business. So making sure you've not left anything on the table and you're really clear about your call to actions. You're really clear about how you're engaging your audience and what potentially what areas you're missing. 
We're then going to be giving you access to my Confidence to Get Visible course, which is an online course that has all sorts of workbooks and videos and really powerful hypnosis tracks that help you when that imposter syndrome rears its ugly head. In the course of my mastermind, I push people kindly, gently with a big kick up the backside to get outside of their comfort zone and really start building this authority piece for themselves. So that confidence to get visible course becomes an absolute cornerstone of everything that I teach. Because if you don't believe you can do it and you don't believe you deserve it and you've got all sorts of stuff going on mindset wise behind the scenes, you won't make yourself get out there. And I think that's a really fundamental part of how I teach. So I can teach you all the strategy, but you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your value. You've got to believe you can convert. You've got to believe in your worth. And so that piece, that confidence to get visible course really helps with that. And the final thing that I want to just share with you about this mastermind is that we've decided for the January 2021 cohort only, and there are 10 spaces and a couple of them have already gone. We are offering, we're working with my book publisher, Authors & Co, to create a collaboration book. You will, if you come into the Mastermind in January 2021, not only get weekly access, quarterly retreats, quarterly one-to-ones with me and all of the other extras that I've talked about today, but we will be working with you to create a good quality, a high quality business advice book as a collaboration piece. Now, I'm a big believer that I do not want to be part of one of these collaboration books that's pretty much a sob story and a bit of a saga. I want to make sure we create something that positions your expertise, that backs up your podcast, that backs up the credibility and expertise that I know that you have. So if you would like to make sure that you come and work with us for 12 months, work with me very closely, very intimately to have my support, my guidance, my knowledge. I also bring in high level world class experts on the things that I think I want to have shared with you. If there's an area that's not my passion, but I know that I'm very well connected to bring those guest experts in, then I will be doing that as well. Now, this book collaboration, we're going to be working with the publishing team to give you really firm guidelines on the book. We're going to edit it so that it is absolute top-notch quality. It's going to be designed. We're going to be working together to launch. So all of you, not only will you learn everything about the writing, the publishing and actually launching a book, but we're actually going to implement that within the 12 months. You're not going to be left on your own to just go away and write your chapter. We're going to make sure that what we put out there is going to be incredible to help you elevate your status. Because as I said at the beginning of this episode, I believe that a podcast doesn't work on its own. It can do, but it's not going to get you the results. A book doesn't just work on its own. It can do, but how are you going to bring in the clients? A list, an email list doesn't just work on its own. You've got to know how it all works. Your social media doesn't work on its own. And what I'm going to be doing in this mastermind is helping you elevate your status by podcasting and increasing your downloads, growing that as a really crucial part to monetization and understanding all of the elements that go in there and also allowing you to become a co-author of a good quality, a high quality collaboration book. So if you would like details on the podcast mastermind, it is available now for application. It is by application only. You do have to apply. We'll have an interview. We'll work out if you're a good fit. I'm only bringing on board the right people for this. Then please go to annaparkernaples.co.uk forward slash mastermind. Because I really do believe you need to have content in all areas. Don't just rely on social media. Don't just rely on your email. Don't just rely on doing some Facebook lives. It all has to work cohesively. You need great quality social media where you know what you're doing, where you understand how to influence people. You need emails where you understand what you're doing and they are effective. You need to use video, pre-recorded and live. You need to have a podcast right now, people. This is why it's booming. This is the place to be. It's the fastest growing medium on the planet. And I'm going to show you how to use this as a strategy that works. And we're going to be talking about 
launching, growing, relaunching and monetization to increase your downloads, increase the community that you build off the back of the podcast and how you can then make sure you have great blog content to increase your search engine optimization and write a book, write your own book. I'm going to be increasing, helping you to learn how to do that by actually writing and publishing a co-authored book as part of this mastermind. So I'd love to have you on board, the podcast mastermind, one of a kind in the world. Go and find out at annaparkernaples.co.uk forward slash mastermind. Thank you for listening to Entrepreneurs Get Visible. To get your free checklist on how to raise your profile and to find out about our community, go to annaparkernaples.co.uk forward slash get visible.